Hey, so this is the David Shannon book that I wanted to share with you. It is called How Many Animals Fit on My Tractor. One day down at the diner, Farmer Odell asked a weird question. How many animals can fit on my tractor? That's a weird question, said Corky. Let's see, he said. A duck is pretty small. I bet you could fit a duck on your tractor. You need to get some big animals on there first, announced the mayor. How about a big old cow on the front and a pig? No, two pigs on the back and a dog in the middle, yelled a kid named Edison. Farmer Odell counted them up. The duck is one, the cow is two, the pigs are three and four, and the dog makes five. So you can fit five animals on my tractor. There would still be plenty of room for tiny little animals, spoke up Gwen in a little tiny voice, like a mouse and a chicken. She squinted at Otis when she said chicken. A goat can balance on just about anything, Otis said. The thought made his head rattle. How many is that? He asked. Five plus three equals eight, answered Farmer Odell. Manny wondered where the horse would get on. Where does the horse get on? He asked. Anywhere he wants, observed Deputy Bob. I like cats, said Marcine, the waitress. The horse is nine and the cat is ten, said Farmer Odell. That's how many animals fit on my tractor. Don't forget the sheep, shouted Edison's grandma, who sounded kind of like a sheep herself. You'll hurt her feelings. I guess we can put the sheep on top, said Farmer Odell. That makes 11, and I think that's all the animals that can fit on my tractor. Agreed, everyone shouted. Imagining all those animals riding away on his tractor made Farmer Odell think of another question. Do I need a better fence? That's a cute little story by David Shannon. He writes a lot of stories. And on this page, this is kind of neat. You can see a whole big list of the different stories that he has written. And we have a ton of these in our library. And I know your homeschool teachers will also have a ton of those books in their libraries as well. I wanted to let you all know that we have started collecting library books at the Village. So if you have any library books at home, that belong to ELV. If you want to drop them off, there's a bucket right out front of the village. And I think they're going to be checking that um, daily just to uh, try to get um, those books back before the end of the school year. Thanks, you guys. Oh, and also Miss Fannin um, wanted me to remind you about her My Girl video that she's trying to make with the students as well. I will see you guys soon. Bye.